Hi, so today I'm working on finishing my weeping birch painting off. I'm using ochre burnt umber with some titanium white to define the birch seed pods still left on the spring birch from last year showing the cycle of life. Then I'm using a fine brush to add the seed detail. As the branches are young, I'm lightening them with some light ochre mixed with white and burnt umber. Looking at images I took of birch trees, I can see the texture of the tree knots and ripped bark has a green hue from algae on it. I'm using an organic green mixed from a light green, ochre and black to define the tree knots and bark. Looking at photos I took of fresh spring leaf growth for tonal variation, I'm using a green mix from yellow lake and ultramarine blue to make some of the older leaves darker. Then I'm using a mix of Vert Anglais number no. 5 with yellow lake and titanium white to brighten and freshen some of the leaves, adding detail to where the sun would hit them. To make the leaf veins more realistic, I'm toning them down with a thin layer of darker green. Here I have a piece of real birch bark for reference on the bark rips and detail. I'm stylizing the bark rips with a mixture of paint marks and varied brush strokes in a size 4 short flat brush. Just adding green and more detail to the tree knots and birch silhouette. To enhance the bright spring sky background, I'm using ultramarine blue mixed with titanium white. So here is the finished Weeping Birch Biodiversity Loss Oil Painting. Each line on the bark represents a species of animal, flora and fauna that were not seen in the last 33 years. That's a total of 307 lines and species, but only 7% of all living things have been analysed, which is why this is a tree section, not a whole tree.